guys and welcome back to my channel guys i'm not going to say what's gucci fresh what's gucci fresh everybody guys i know i'm sorry sarah's not here the boys are not here <laughs> so if you want to leave just leave just like watch a little bit so i can get the you know ad revenue in Bitch, you just monetize my channel today <laughs> but basically guys i just did a like a little like poll on my instagram and i was like yo drop your craziest uh assumptions about me well, first of all i'm gonna say I hate all of you. Every single one literally said, you're a fuck boy, you're a fuck boy, you're this and that. Ooh, I need to stop swearing. You're five foot four, blah, 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 blah. Tell you what, I'm gonna actually, I'll measure myself in front of you guys. Two, can we relax on the slander? Why am I such a fuck boy? I don't get it. But basically guys, I just wrote down the craziest assumptions about uh, me that you guys put. I'm gonna answer them for you guys, so let's go. First assumption is you're a rich kid. Let's roll the clip of my old house. <laughs> I'm just a nigga from the ghetto. Yeah, you uh, you take what you want from that. Another assumption is you have hella bodies. Like, and the thing is, I feel so objectified. All of them are like this. Every single one of these is talking about a man's peace. But what's the size? You have hella bodies. Or fuck boy, relax with the slander. I did nothing to y'all. You have hella bodies. Um. Yeah, honestly, guys, I can't really be like, who's who's actually like, let's be honest with yourself. Who's actually going to answer that? Number three, you say you got a two millimeter Peter, but you're actually rocking a huge D. I can't answer these on the fan. Number four, you like older women. Actually, you want to know something crazy? I actually only went for older girls when I was like a little younger. When I was like 17, 18, I, like, I went like, yeah, yeah, you, you're kind of kind of right about that one. Number five, you're actually six foot seven, but no one believes you. Yo, just DM Freedom, Trey, Dags, anyone, Tony. Like, I'm actually genuinely six foot seven. He's six seven. Number six, you're a fuck boy slash player. I just don't understand where this is coming from. I thought we were all friends. So how can you even be a fuck boy? Is a fuck boy, okay, cause what's, what's a fuck boy? Is it like your look? Is it like how you actually like do things? Cause y'all have never seen me with no girls. I'm in the club. Besides Sarah, well, how could you know? Number seven, you're covering for freedom in Sarah's secret relationship. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. No, guys, let's, to be honest, no, freedom and Sarah, they have nothing going on. I low-key think that, like, you know, never mind, never mind. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Number nine, you went to LA with hella money. You guys want to know something funny? I'll actually pull up a video that I made when I was by myself and I was kind of down bad. I'm by myself um, in LA. I've been doing this for a really long time and I do my own like, what do you want to call it? Like influencer stuff and whatever. Just a little update on my life. Currently homeless. Um, I'm going to sleep in this car. Um, don't ask. I got $72 on me. Canadian citizen, so I can't work in America. So that's always cool. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you know that this is what it's like being a like creator or like an influencer or like uh, anyone who's pretty much like you pretty much have your own business. Like this is what it's like. It's not what you guys think. Like on my stories, it looks so cool and it looks, you know, like in YouTube videos and stuff, everyone looks so happy and stuff. But I'm literally. I'm literally in LA and I'm just sleeping in a car because my like like my like dreams like I just take so seriously and I got really sick of being in Canada and having nothing to do. All I would do is like just drink with my friends and everything and like it becomes a point in time where like I just feel like I'm just getting too old and it, it may never work out and and the thing is I, I feel like I'm the only person out of everyone you know how you guys grow up with those friends and stuff and everything um and then it just like you guys somehow fall apart this and that everyone always like got jobs and everyone I don't know they they went to school and they did this and they did that they got a girlfriend or they whatever and I'm the only person, and everyone wanted to be something in at first, and everyone wanted to be a, a rock star, and everyone wanted to be, I don't know, a YouTuber or whatever, whatever you want to do. And, and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm the only person who never gave up. And I'm still out here every single day trying. And I live a fun-ass life, but it comes with a lot of, like, sacrifices and, and consequences, so... 
Yeah. I figured out some other things because I'm trying to make it in LA and I only have 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. $59 left. Alright, I'm um, at some mansion party. I'm drunk as fuck. Still homeless. I met some cool people tonight. It's chill. It's gonna make a million dollars. By the way, guys, I'm editing right now, and the whole idea of like that like clip that I put in is not for anyone to feel bad for me. The point was just to like motivate people and have them understand that you don't need money. You can do things like regardless of your situation, and you can always be. You know, it can be great, don't worry. If you're someone who doesn't come from a family with like money or anything, trust me, if you, you, if you put your mind to it, you're gonna be all right. So, by the way, I'm doing better now. That was just my first couple weeks in LA and it was, you know, not that great, but you know, you still got pushed through it, so, yeah. In my head? Um, no, I came to LA here uh, like in January with like $300. Let me just tell you guys something. Your your net work is your net worth. It's all about who you know. You seem like a very outgoing person who radiates good energy, but is also low key. See, I like having fun, but I don't like people knowing stuff about me. I'm up to no good. I never trusted people that much. So I guess you're right. You love to be independent. Yeah, I don't really like people doing much for me because I feel like it's just kind of like, and you like kind of owe them and you're like, you know, it's not really like, I'm not trying to do that. You're not a commitment kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, you kind of right. I don't know, like when it comes to like, when it comes to relationships, I'm not like a commitment kind of guy. If I commit to something, then like, I'll usually like, I'll actually do it. But when it comes to like, another person, man, it's never worked out for me. It's getting kind of exhausting because I really want a girlfriend. You're not in school slash dropped out of college. I actually didn't drop out of college. I never went to college. I dropped out of high school in grade 11. Actually, I didn't even drop out. I can't even like flex that. I actually got expelled. I was kind of a bad kid. I just like, it's not that I didn't want to go to school. It's just that I just had so much other shit on my mind. Like I just wanted to make YouTube videos and stuff. Now that was all only in my mind. That was the only thing that was on my mind. You're kinky and have tried a lot of weird stuff in the bedroom. Yeah, you're right about that. Honestly, I can't lie. I just be like, I just like experiencing stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I'm one of those people who like, I just have to know. You spend forever on your hair. Yeah, I definitely do. All my friends actually hate it. I actually spend probably like 15, like 20 minutes like on my hair every single time I do my hair. It has to look a certain way. You have three sisters. I actually don't have any sisters. I actually don't have any girls in my family. I only have one brother and I have an uncle. Oh, there's no girls that are like, like my actual, like, like, you know, except for my mom, but my mom's gangster anyway. So you don't have a skincare routine. Yes, I am one of those people who actually don't, don't do anything. Uh, the skin kind of usually just stays clear. You're actually really nerdy and into physics. Whoever said that is so right, man. Not physics really, but like, dude, I love space. I don't know why. I actually just like know like so many little random facts about space. I know like almost every single one of the constellations. If like if I'm on the West Coast, I know when all of them all of them are like gonna be in a certain order. So cool. Space is just so cool. You're five seven. Stop with the slander. Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't even care. That like it's actually kind of funny. You're into white girls. Am I not? I've only really been with like Latina girls. That's kind of just been my thing. Like I don't really have a type. My only type is that when girls are like really, 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 really short. You know how some girls will go for a guy just cause he's tall? Me, if she's like five feet tall, like she'll catch my attention before anybody, like regardless of looks. Guys, don't be mad at me, okay? You know you dated some guy who's six foot three just because he was six foot three and he wasn't even the greatest looking, okay? You and Freedom have kissed. Come on, you don't kiss your homies? Like, what is this? You're like a little sus boy. I'm leaving that segment in just like that. Boom, done, next question. You're into one night stands. Why do you guys think I'm this horrible person who only talks to women for one thing? I want a girlfriend, but I just haven't found one yet. Are you actually into Sarah? Her homies were super close. Anyways, guys, I can see that 98.1% um, of you guys are women and uh, most of you guys are not subscribed. So uh, hit the subscribe button because um, your boy's in poverty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.